<laughs> okay, so uh, for all of those that are saying that you can't have a great meal plan for your kids and there's, there's nothing out there for the children as well, we will show you what you can cook and this is what the whole family can eat and this is what reduces your waistline at the end of the day. This does not make people Get gain me. weight and basically become fat, it definitely strips off the fat. Um, and this is going to help you. This is going to help you a lot with your health and this is great for your children as well. So we're going to make meatballs and we're also going to use some uh, courgette for this one. And what you're going to do is this is the courgette that you buy. So that's spiralized courgette. I'll show you afterwards what it looks like. And then for the children, if they don't want that, you can always make them some nice wholemeal pasta or something like that. Because children sometimes are a little bit more fussy. But us grown-ups can eat the courgette because that is not what's going to make you fat at the end of the day. That is pure health right there in the packet. Okay. All healthy, all natural. Yeah, exactly. No E numbers, no preservatives, just wholesome food. Good. Okay, so we've got, so we're going to make a tomato sauce for you. Uh, we're going to chop up some red onion, so Jason will take over on that. So I'll chop up red onion. We've got some garlic cloves there, and then we've got some baby leeks, and then we've got on the side we've also got our tomatoes so here you go small little tomatoes they're lovely these are cherry tomatoes and then when we're going to make the meatballs we use a fattier mince i don't do lean mince i use fatty mince because fat is good for you it's healthy it's tasty so uh, yeah keeps so you a lot of you lose a lot more weight and we're going to put in our meatballs we're going to put in chives chilies uh, we're going to put in some coriander thyme and basil that's going to go into the meatballs and of course we've got a little bit of egg here that we're going to put in the mince so that we can make it into little balls. And we're going to do small little ones, so if you've got children they will be a little bit smaller than a golf ball size but they will taste absolutely delicious. And then for the onion and tomato sauce we're going to do, we're also going to add in a bit of salt, pepper and then I want to add in some uh, chives in that one, not chilies, just chives. And it gives it a really lovely flavour. Afterwards, when we serve it up, we're going to finish it off with a bit of parmesan on the top, but we'll show you everything. So, I'll let Jason continue, he's going to chop it up, and then we'll move on to the next step. Oh, a little side note, did you know that the Inuits, or Eskimos as we used to call them, obviously that's not a good thing, you can't do that anymore, it's not PC. Yeah. <laughs> but, talking about fatty meat, they live off fatty meat, well they used to, Yeah. used to be very healthy, very lean. There's always pictures of, um, of the Inuits in, you know, looking, you think they're fat, they're not fat, it's just the furs that they're wearing. The bear. Yeah, the bear. <laughs> the bear they're covering up with. But obviously with their dogs, with their sled dogs, for them, um, they didn't give their dogs the prize meat, they gave their dogs the fillet meat. Because it lacked fat, it lacked taste. Um, and for them, the fattier the meat, the better it was for you, the tastier it was. Yeah. When you remove fat dishes. out of the out of food, then it loses its taste. So what does the company's going to do? They put in hidden sugars, additives, preservatives, stuff like that to give it flavors and all these artificial colors and stuff like that. It's terrible. It's not good for us. We shouldn't be eating things like that. I know mm. sometimes we have it, but we try and be as good as we can when we can. So and we make our own food. We make if you want spaghetti, meatballs, things like that. Make it for your kids. It doesn't take that long. All this stuff about, oh, it takes too long to cook. You can do this. And you can freeze things like this as well. And then just, all you need to do the next day is just make the pasta. So, and courgette, this bit, takes a lot for you. That's only, that's maximum about 30, 40 seconds, then it's done. Otherwise, it goes into mush. So it's finished. So pasta takes a lot longer than that. Okay, so it's all chopped up over here. Are so these fine enough? Garlic. I don't know. I don't know. How fine do you have your... Yeah. How so fine you is can, fine for you? You can chop it really <laughs> fine. Quite fine. Or you can go a little bit rustic like me. There you go. So very, very <laughs> fine. And then we're going to make it into a nice sauce. But we're going to um, fry for quite a bit in butter. So it, I, it kind of breaks up a little bit as well. So it's soft and nice. Okay. We'll be back in a sec. Lovely. Okay, we're back again. So all the chopping's been done. Thanks to Jason. We've got the red onion chopped up. The tomatoes. Got a garlic and the baby leeks they were set over there as well. Now we're going to make the meatballs. And you can make them as big as you want. Sometimes you make it too big, the middle bit don't really get cooked and you have to stand it for ages. So we're going to use our full fat mince. This is about 50% to 60% fat. And then the rest is just your meat. So lovely. So you don't even, sometimes you don't even have to use oil with this because it's so fatty. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of the egg that um, I've whisked with a fork. Um, we used this earlier as well, and I'm just going to add that in there. And then we're going to make the meatballs. Just turn it over, and 
and then we're going to start. If you don't use too much egg, sometimes it becomes way too soft. Yeah, it gets too, too soggy, doesn't it? Too soggy, yeah. Mm. So because if you use fatty mints, it's already quite soft. And I've slightly overdone it on that, but anyway, I'm sure we're fine. Okay, so if uh, Jason can add in here for me some salt and pepper. There we go. Okay, you can make it as spicy as you want. It's nice to have a bit of flavour in this. And then stuff. again, you know, it's all down to to what you want to put in it. You know, yeah. you can put some chili flakes in it, you can put a bit of chili in, you could um, you know, some um, flavor. herbs. Flavour um, your food. Flavour, <laughs> yeah, you know, stuff that you like. Basil, but basil, there we go, look. On cue, you see? A little bit of basil. I mean again, you know, we're not going crazy. Yeah, not tons. You know, just just enough to enhance the uh, Enhance the flavour. Bit of time. Bit of time again. Look, see how we're measuring it out. It's about a <laughs> teaspoon. We think. It's about a teaspoon. You know. That's the great thing about cooking as well. You know, sizes, ingredients. They're, they're a guideline. You know, but you, you don't have to. Uh, Coriander leaves. You don't have to be completely okay, into the zone. A little bit more. Yeah. See again. It's all about getting a little bit more of what you like. You know. Okay, and like you say, you can add in chilies if you want, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so that's all kind of mashed in there, all mixed up. And then we're going to make the meatballs. So, oh, whoa, 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 that's okay, that was the door. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that on the form here. Here goes our new camera. <laughs> okay. Somebody went to the fridge and the Labrador was getting rather excited. So, Yes. There we go. There you go. So that's the size of the meatballs. Nice and small, not too big. Oh, up. There you go. We said we'll just form whatever happens. Absolutely. See how it goes. Okay. See how the chips fall, or the camera, or us. Okay, so we've done quite, I've done two there, and we'll do a few more. And then the next step we're going to show you is where we fry the onions, tomatoes, and we make that lovely sauce. And we're going to use. It's a ragu, isn't it? Of sauce. Yeah. It is a very good. Yeah. Yeah. So we use a frying pan and we're gonna do it in butter. That's because we like butter and again it's very good for you. It's not yeah. bad for you. So there you go. Okay. And okay. again, so many vitamins and minerals are held in saturated fat. Yeah. So you know you take saturated fat out of your diet. I know people say, oh you shouldn't have it. The world's changing, the world's growing up, it's starting to realise how important saturated fat is. Never been really that bad for you. So exactly. Yeah. Never been. And remember, macro and things like that also have a lot of saturated fat and they tell you to eat the Mediterranean diet, so there you go. Mm. Okay. All good, catch you on the next slide. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to fry the courgette, or the courgette. Uh, we're adding in some coconut oil to the frying pan and we're going to just give it some time. About a teaspoon, um, sorry, a tablespoon. Just enough to uh, cover the bottle of pan, really. Yeah. So this is pretty quick. So don't leave it on there too long. The courgette. I say it does say this is pretty quick, but this is an argument. So <laughs> and we're on the simmer plate. So it yeah, takes a bit longer. Uh, might take a little bit longer, but obviously on a medium, medium setting on your grill. On, sorry, on your on your hob. Okay. There we go. It won't take too long. Like all of that in there. And you can add in a little bit more because it does kind of shrink down like almost like um, almost like spinach. It kind of melts. So there you go. Fine. Lovely, lovely. Let's see. And then every now and again just give it a bit of a stir. There you go. There you go. That's fine. Good. Give it a stir and then as soon as it's done, we'll show you. Okay, so we're done, so you can see that's uh, nice and soft. You don't want to go too soft. Kind of, fold the kind of al dente for um, courgette, really. Give it a nice little, a little bit of crunch, but nice and warm. So there. Okay, there you go. Let's go about the last bit. Just turn the pan and just bung it. Perfect. Look at that. Nice, nice, that. nice. Okay, there you go. So now on to the sauce that we're going to do after this one. Okay, now for our tomato and onion sauce, and we're going to put in some butter. We're going to fry this one in butter. Big, nice, a nice big block. Good sized. Quarter of a block, even on Quarter of a block, yeah. Go for it. This is really going to, as we said earlier, you know, the fat, the saturated fat, is really going to fill you, satiate your appetite. Um, you're not going to feel hungry after you've cooked this. When you've eaten it, it's going to be absolutely very filling 
very nutritious. It's good for you. And very tasty, no. obviously. Delicious. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in the onions. We'll start with the onions first. Let's put a knife. Yeah. Here we go. So onions first. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna make a really, really nice sauce for you. And it's, a, it's basically a tomato and onion sauce, and we're adding in the leeks as well. There you go, that'll be fine. I'm first gonna fry the onions for quite a while until it softens up, and then the tomatoes. Okay, so the onions have been frying for about two minutes, and now we're gonna add in all the other ingredients. We're gonna add in the tomato and the leek, well, leek and tomato, whichever one Jason wants to add in first. There you go. Both. And you want a nice tomato sauce and then the leeks and then of course the garlic. We didn't put the garlic in at the beginning because when you're frying the onions you don't want to burn the garlic because it's obviously a lot smaller. So put it in with your, uh, okay. put it in with the tomatoes and um, give that a good stir and then we're going to add in basil, thyme, coriander and chives. There you go. Cool. So a bit of basil, and this one you can flavor up quite a bit. Thyme. You got coriander. Okay, and then we're gonna add in chives as well. Chives gives a lovely, lovely flavor. And then the last bit, we're going to add in salt. There you go. And you want, you can add in quite a bit of salt again, make it, give it a lovely flavor, that uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. I think tomatoes do need a little bit more salt as well, actually, to bring out the flavor um, when you're cooking them. So don't be too shy, but don't go crazy. Just, uh, okay. You can always add more, you just you can't take out. So. Yeah. Okay, we'll fry that for a while and then come back to you at the end when it's nearly done. Okay, so you can see we've uh, fried the mixture for quite a while, the onion and tomatoes. And it's uh, kind of going to a bit of a paste and you can press you down can on press it as down well. with your spoon, give it yeah. a good, just mash it up, get those tomatoes broken up, get the juices out, helps make the sauce. Yeah, so this will be a really, really nice sauce that goes over the top of the meatballs and the courgette. So okay, next step, we're gonna do the meatballs for you. Okay, so now we're gonna do the meatballs. So again, quite a bit of butter in the pan. And Add a little bit of olive oil as well. Yeah, so we don't burn the butter. So we don't burn the butter, just a little. There you go. Splash. Let that melt and then we'll add in these bad boys for you. So there you go, so there's our meatballs. All done up, and they're not big. They're quite small, and they they will just go. They'll cook a little bit quicker if you if you make them too too big. It takes quite a while. All right, there you go. Okay, and on this one we'll just fry a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Add that into your pan. Okay. And uh, we'll show at the end when they're fried what they should look like. Like so, you don't you don't want them rock hard. You don't want to overcook your food. It wants a little bit of softness in the middle. So there you go. Our meatballs are fried. Um, they're looking good, nice and brown, and they're not overcooked. So the middle bit will still be soft. And uh, we're gonna serve them up onto our courgette in a second, and then add on our tomato and onion sauce for you as well. Okay, so there's our courgette in our plate. Everything's cooked and now we're gonna serve up the meatballs and we're only gonna have three. You wanna roughly stick to about 100 grams of meat. Don't overdo it on the protein. Reason being is you still, you can, add, you can add on body fat when you have too much protein in your diet. So you're not actually losing, it's not that you're unhealthy, it's just you'll add on body fat. Okay, now the last bit, for the lovely bit, is we're gonna add on the nice tomato and onion sauce for you. Have a look at this. Lift it up a little bit, there you go, nice. Okay, Whew. it's a little bit warm. Delicious this. But look at that beautiful color. Okay, who said you can't cook nice food for you and the family? 
Lovely. You can whack on quite a bit of sauce on this one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there is a meatball in there somewhere. And there we go. There you go. Lovely. Super dish. And there you go. The kids can have this as well. This tastes so, so nice. And this is very, very healthy. Okay, so we've finished our dish. So this is the meatball and corsetti dish. There you go. That is one delicious meal. And again, it's for the family. It's healthy. This will get you lean. This is not going to put on any body fat or any body weight. This is lean. Keep your protein to a moderate amount and keep your carbohydrates just a little bit lower. Eat good carbohydrates. Don't eat all your breads and pastas and stuff like that. That's why a lot of people don't lose weight. But this is amazing. So we've got three meatballs in there. Like I say, it's roughly about 100 grams of meat. And that's what you want to try and stick to. And that's what will make you slim and lean. And especially, like I said before, if you want to reduce your waistline, this is the one. So. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, thanks again, Jason, for helping out with the cooking, and uh, enjoy it with the whole family. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>